O Brasil vem já há muito tempo trabalhando. For a long time, Brazil has been working towards protecting its states and citizen information. Obviously, since the Snowden indictments, we have adopted additional measures. Today, after a mandatory presidential decree, we are improving a normative framework to enable the state with capabilities to audit, validate, test, and assure software products, and even, in some cases, to forbid them from running within government platforms. Brazilian government is today even more committed to the use of free software. At Serpro, we develop free software-based software and IT solutions for the government. Our development framework, used for the core government solutions, is based in free software technologies and is itself freely licensed. We also have a national public key infrastructure managed in Brazil. Its mathematical foundation is developed locally by our computer scientists. Those elements do not guarantee full security, neither full privacy, since we are always seeking for a compromise between performance and security among others. More safety usually means less performance. So, we need to make intensive use of code that can be audited. We are not able to guarantee full privacy since we use a great number of products, including proprietary hardware and software. The more we adopt free and open source technologies, more assurance we may achieve. Mayo Suit, as an example, is developed based on the work of an international community called Time. We use this code base for our local development. Today, we provide emails for the Brazilian presidency and Serpro itself, among other customers. This free software solution is based also in open source and is freely licensed. So, our work has been intense towards backdoor, elimination, systems auditing, monitoring and assurance, and free software development. We are certain that standards are the best tools with which to move forward under such international arrangements. We believe that a country should not be in constant state of defense against the whole planet. We need international agreements that may guarantee that each country assurance processes may develop from such international agreements. It is needed that countries respect such agreements under international ethics values. Common values that include non vilitantism of citizens or economic activities. Then we will be able to have exchange transactions through which we should cooperate for the planet and nature greater good. All this while preserving economic conditions of countries and also the privacy of their citizens. And to achieve that, it is very important that we develop international partnerships through, but not limited to, international standards. This can assure that services are constitutionally meaningful auditable and relations are dealt in a cooperative way and not in an evasive way. This prevents countries from harming citizenship and fundamental civil rights. I am assured that if we work jointly towards the creation of this international effort of de developing solutions for citizenship protection while allowing cooperation and scrutiny, we will advance greatly. Workshops like this are crucial for such conversations. Certain to achieve deeper and further developments on the matter, we shall attend Latinoware, a workshop in Iguaçu Falls, on the premises of Itaipu, a Brazil-Paraguay binational energy plant campus. 
Our expectations are that outcomes of the current workshop can be applied in our southern continent as much as built up in global scale towards citizenship promotion and protection. I am sure that we can achieve great developments if we keep a mindset of cooperation instead of spionage and a cooperation instead of competition.